Hey folks, welcome to the third video in the RSS FeedParser tutorial series. Um, in the previous video, we learned how to install FeedParser on our machines, after which we passed a very basic website and we got the title of the first article and we even got the link for the first article on the website. In this video, we'll be creating a FeedParser for Medium. And um, if you haven't watched the previous video, I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. You might want to watch that first before watching this one and uh, yeah so let's get started basically i'm going to be starting out by importing the feed parser here by you doing the import feed parser command and um, after this i'm going to be declaring my feed url that's going to be the url that i'm going to be using and it's going to be this one the meet the link that is made here copy this here i'm going to be opening the codes pasting it in right and um, basically after importing the feed parser the, the next thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be passing the link so i'm just going to do a blog underscore feed that is equal to feed parser dot parse dot parse and inside this i'm going to be passing the url i mean the feed url variable and um, after this i'm going to be just getting the title of the website so to do that i'm going to be doing website underscore title i'm going to be doing blog underscore feed dot feed dot title and i'm going to be just going ahead and printing this out click on save so I'm going to play this and i'm going to be doing python 3 video 2 dot py here you can see stories by Ari Nirani that is the title of the website so let's just go ahead and match it I'm going to just open this link here see the, the first title that is there on the top is stories by Ari Nirani yeah and yes this is the title so we successfully got the title from the website the next thing that we're going to be doing is getting the title of the first article that is there on the website and it's going to be the same one I'm just going to create a new variable called content under which I'm going to be doing blog feed under I mean a blog underscore feed dot entries it's going to be the same one and if I do print I'm going to do blog feed dot entries I do this zero and I do a dot title now clear this you see the first article that is there on my website on my medium blogging website is combining google apps script with google app sheet so we successfully got that right and now we're going to be getting all the articles that are there on the website so the next thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be printing the rest of the details that are there it's going to be blog underscore fee dot entries i'm going to be doing zero and i'm going to be getting the link of the article the next thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to do blog blog underscore feed dot entries gonna be zero and here i'm going to be doing publish that's going to be getting the date of publishing going to clear this out run this you can see this is the title this is the link and this is the date at which the blog had been published on the website so now finally what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be getting all the i mean the first 10 articles from the website so all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do for blog in content. So basically the content variable contains the entries. That means it contains each block that is there in the website. That's going to be the title of the blog followed by the link followed by its description, its contents and the date of publishing. So I'm going to be iterating through the content variable using a for loop inside which I'm going to be printing the blog title followed by printing the blog link and I'm going to be printing the blog's publishing date. I'm going to click on save, I'm going to clear this out. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to run the code here. And before that, I'm just going to be commenting this print statements here. 
and here I'll just make this a bit more bigger. You can see all the articles have been printed. I, that means the first 10 articles that are there. You can see with the links, the date of publishing and stuff like that. And if I click on this, it's going to be showing me this article. And if I compare, I published this article on June 28. You can see it's showing me June 28, 2022. So this shows that our code has successfully worked. So this is how we can build a feed parser for medium this is how you can get your articles from your website this is all for this video i hope you understood how to how to create a feed parser for medium in the next video we're going to be doing some advanced parsing for medium where we're going to be getting specific blogs from a specific time that is maybe i want all the blogs published after may 2022 I'm going to be printing those articles out. So that's where we're going to be doing some advanced passing using the date time module that is there in Python. I'll be leaving the code link in the description and uh, I'll be leaving the blog link of this video in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.